Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the last video regarding the use of tele ERP system in a hospital environment. So I was doing the, 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 the uh, I was doing dealing with the list of transactions which were available to me in this Excel sheet. You can see I have posted all about transactions into the uh, this. Uh, accounting system tele ERP prime but I was left with the last transaction in my last video so in corona test fees by cash we, uh, we are receiving the corona test fees in cash amounting to 250,000 for this purpose we need to go into the cash receipt voucher receipt voucher last time we were receiving amount by bank but this time we are receiving amount by cash amounting 250,000 so the only difference between this transaction and last transaction will be this time we will be debiting cash instead of the bank so we will go back to our tele ERP system again here we will we are receiving cash so we will enter cash account here and then in our other account which it is Corona test kits. Corona test kits fees. Okay, it is a revenue account. So Corona test fees is uh, it was amounting two hundred fifty thousand. I just posted it. Generation. So we can add received Corona test kits. Uh, Again, Corona test in cash. We will click Control A, and this transaction is also saved in our system. So we are done with all the transactions which were given to us in this uh, Excel sheet, and now we will just see the results of these transactions into some of the statements which Kelly ERP can show us. We, we need to move to the main interface. This is the main interface of Kelly. Get we are telling here you can see the report section first of all here is also the balance sheet you can see this balance sheet if you click balance sheet you can see the the impact of all the transaction is still applied on the balance sheet and you can see the result by clicking on this single head you can move inside and see the further details of each transaction right remember we were giving uh, these two are our characters from which we purchase some of the items on credit so some characters with that is the amount which is being reflected reflected here we need to pay so it is our liability so everything here is available you can see soon after posting the transactions into tele erp system this system automatically generates the report for you so this was the balance sheet now we will go and look for the profit and loss account this is the profit and loss account you can see it is showing us also the direct income and also it is showing the expenses on this side You can also see go to the more reports and you can see the day book the list of entries or list of transactions that you have made during the day you can see here even you can also select some of the, some of the transactions and you can also change it from here and also you can delete it also this is the cash flow statement you can see inflow outflow during the period of this you can also change the period by clicking f2 and you can input here from 1 to 31 we will keep it as is as it is so here you can also select the period in which you can see the cash flow also for the month wise here this is the educational volume so other months are not available only we can post entries into one single month and only the first day and the last day so this is also shown cash flow 
You can also look for trial balance. This is also your trial balance. All the debits and credit balance are being shown to you under the main account heads. By double clicking, you can go and see what are what are the capital accounts which were involved in in contributing to this balance of five million. When we click this, we will see only Mr. Abdullah, who was the owner of business, he have invested five million dollars million dirhams here. So if we move to our, our current liabilities, we will click here and we will see it is 80,000 from country creditors. And if we want to see the details of these country creditors, we will double click here and we will see these two were our creditors from which we purchased some of the goods for our business. So by for going back, we will click this cat button twice and twice. Here are some direct income. So if I want to see this check income from where they are coming, I will click this and I will see commission received 280,000, consultation fees 190,000, Corona test fees 9 lakh, visiting charges 3 lakh. So you can, after posting your transactions, you can go through your statements and you can see the impact on your different financial statements of these transactions. So that was all for this video, this series of videos. So thank you for being with me. Take care. Allah Hafiz.